He said, we are not satisfied yet, sir. <laughs> Show me the father now. Yeah. Verse 9. Jesus said unto him, have I been so long with you, yet you don't know me? Uh, see, see, I can see I, when I, I, I praised you too fast. Here is my, my people. Let me tell you, you can have your own church. Listen to me. You say, show us prophet angel, the major himself. <laughs> the New Testament black Elijah. Tell us, where is he? I say, have I been with you this long, yet you don't know me? What am I saying? It's me. Sit down. They want God the Father. And Jesus said, have I been with you this long? Yet you have not recognized that I'm actually the Father. Jesus is moving around. Okay, people. What is the name Jesus? God among us. So imagine every time they say, Jesus, come here. They were saying, God among us, come here. And then ask him, where is God? So if you say in the name of Jesus, you are saying in the name of God among us. <laughs> Sit down. Then he said, Philip, like a disappointment. Like Philip, I thought you got this figured out. All this time, listen, this Philip had been with Jesus three years. And Jesus is expecting that in three years at least. You should have known that Jesus is the father. Some pastors have been in ministry for seven days. They still don't know. Some Christians have been Christians for 40 years. Yet you still don't know that Jesus is the father. Outside of Jesus, there is no other one. Okay, they're not getting it. I haven't even started. He who has seen me has seen the Father. How sayest thou then show us the Father? Now hear this. Then he says, why sayest thou then show us the Father? Why would you even ask this thing? He said, all power in heaven is given unto me. If your success is based on your background, then your back will be on the ground. Sit down. You'll get it in a few minutes. And it's, taking, it's taking long. They're getting. And I'm not repeating. Rooted and build up in him. Number one, two, three, let's go. Rooted and build up in him, in Jesus. Established in the faith as you have been taught. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Let's go, please. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Listen to me. Philosophy. The study of wisdom, world wisdom. Vain deceit. After the tradition of men, number one, whatever we are going to see next, anyone who opposes what I'm about to say is working on philosophy. Has somebody that has actually lied to them says, Beware lest any man spoil you. That means that person has been spoiled. Through philosophy, human thinking, it is not divinity, no divine capability. It is simply their minds telling them nonsense. Through philosophy, vain deceit. Vain deceit is when a fool begins to fool you. You know you know this is a fool. But the fool is fooling you. After the tradition of men. That means tradition is frozen success. Using what used to work. <laughs> I can see. Using what? What used to work? I'm coming after the rudiments of the world, not after Christ, that means antichrist. So, number one, if you don't follow what the Bible is saying in verse number nine, you are using tradition, you have been spoiled through philosophy, you have been fooled by another fool, 
you are working on frozen success. Mm -hmm. After the rudiments of the world, the way they do things, the world. And you are an antichrist. What does it say in 9? For in Jesus dwells all the fullness of Godhead in bodily form. See, 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 it takes, it took a long time. Sit down, let me explain. Look at my people that I called my people. Now, everyone is like, um, you have been fooled by fools. Following the tradition of men. After the rudiments of the world. And you are antichrist. The moment you oppose verse number 9. The Bible says, when you see Jesus. As he's standing there, Jesus, like this. Right? If he's walking towards me. You are seeing the headquarters of all God is. In other words, outside of Jesus, there is no God anywhere. So when Jesus begins to pray, he's praying to himself. Uh, no, no, they didn't get it. Jesus said, all power in heaven and in earth is on me. It's given to me. So what is God left with? So what is the use of God? If all power is on Jesus. Because right there with Jesus... That's it. That's all. There is no... Now, now, now watch this. You can look in the book of Revelation. It says, and I saw the throne. And in the middle of the throne, not on the side, not on the right side, a lamp as it if it was slain. Why is the lamp on the throne not on the right side? Because the lamp is Jesus. It's God. But you have segmented it to say there is the Father, there is the Son, and there is the Holy Ghost. These are manifestations of one God. Sit down. Yeah. 